Hello, I thought with this video I would record uh, the upgrade from Logic Express 8 to Logic Express 9. Um, this has been out for a little while now. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I haven't even opened the box yet, so I'm doing that now as we speak. This is a live blind unboxing. Will this be a new thing for YouTube? quite heavy, there's a lot of stuff inside it. Okay, so this is the Logic Express 9 DVD here, yeah, and there's a manual as well inside there. I suppose I should really read it, but let's just plot the disc in and see what happens, shall we? Okay, first of all, unload the DVD that's already there. Okay, a little bit of nostalgia for you there. Fame has gone. Okay. Just wait for that to bring up the disc on the screen. All you PC users will find this so easy. Okay, install Logic Express. So I just hit that little box there. I should read that before you install Logic Express thing, but I haven't. Say so continue. Say so continue. That noise is my CD drive, by the way. I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. Okay, carry on, continue. Hit agree, because you agree with the license. Okay, I've got to put my name in here. And I've got to find this password. It's attached to the installing your software booklet included in your product box. Continue. 10.31 gigabytes of space. Okay, now this is good because this is one way that Apple keeps viruses out to install anything on your computer, whether it's a software piece or whether it's a download from the internet or anything like that, you have to put in your login password and it has to be the administrator's password as well. So that way nothing can install itself on your system without you at least knowing that it's going to happen. And if I suppose the idea is if you don't recognise one of these, you don't let it install. And this might take some time. So I might come back to you later. I'm also expecting that it's going to restart as well. It's taken about 20 minutes or so. Uh, one thing that I am quite grateful for is that um, it's now got rid of the PowerPC code for the old G3 and 4 and 5 computers. Um, and so hopefully it'll run a bit faster than it does at the moment. All right. Um, I'll go through the specs it needs now. That might be a useful thing to do. So it's a Macintosh computer with an Intel processor. One gigabyte of RAM, a display with 1280 by 800 resolution. Well, that's this iMac, just. Um, Mac OS with 10.5.7, uh, uh, so that is the old Leopard. Um, it will run on Snow Leopard, obviously. QuickTime 7.6, well, now we're on QuickTime X, which is QuickTime version 10. Okay, and the DVD drive, which most computers have got these days. Okay, so that's your minimum requirements. Your recommendations are two to four gig of RAM. Well, this has two gig of RAM. Um, so it might be a little bit slow. It might be useful to try and get some more RAM in there at some point. Um, Mac OS 10 compatible audio interface. <coughs> well, that's all built in now. Um, and a MIDI interface and keyboard or suitable USB device where you can get um, M Audio do some very reasonably priced uh, keyboards. They're just like an input device. They're not a. They don't actually have their own sounds, and you can get one for under a hundred pounds. So that's um, that's pretty good. Okay, so on with the installation. Close that, and you are done. That's now, hopefully, version nine, and it didn't require a restart. So that's pretty good. It's asked me to register which I've just cut out obviously for security reasons because it put my address up and everything. But there you go.